Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 31st. It's about 5.45 a.m. I've been up since about 5, ready to start my day. I'm going to start with a little bit of work this morning. I need to catch up in the Ravelry group with the threads. So I'm going to do that this morning and get a little bit of knitting done, maybe. And the boys will have their second day of online learning. All of their schoolwork by their teachers is being done online. So yesterday was our first day and it actually went pretty well. It was, it took a little longer than I think most days will take us, but it was all new, figuring out, I mean, the boys have used the programs before that they're using, but it was kind of just going through seeing all the assignments they have. Then I sat down with each of them and they planned out a schedule for their week for what assignments they'll do on what days. Um, I'm a planner and I know being organized really helps me, so I figured it would help the boys. So we got their schedule planned out for the week. They got a few assignments done yesterday. So today we'll dive in with that. So the plan is I'll get them up at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. Then they'll have breakfast, get ready, and start school at 9. So kind of planning that out, scheduling that out so that they can be done in the mornings and then have the rest of their days. And then hopefully they'll not have anything to do on the weekends, depending on if they have any big assignments that are due. Austin said he's kind of excited about doing school this way because he likes the idea of being able to plan out his assignments himself and then get to work on them each day. So I thought, you know, that's a good way to see, pick something that you like about this and see the silver lining in this whole crazy ordeal. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I also have some work I need to get done for um, a new pattern that's releasing tomorrow. You guys have seen it. I will show it again here in just a bit. So I've got to get all of, like the drafts done on Etsy and Ravelry for that and get everything so that it's ready to go tomorrow. I had a lot of people ask during vlog past vlogmases, this past one included, and then during some other vlogs I've done about my cleaning schedule. So I wanted to chat about that for a moment. I've got my planner right here so I can look over at it. So I do have a cleaning schedule. I've talked about it a little bit before, but I've never really went into detail on what I do on each day. So down below this video, I'm going to write out Monday, what I do on Mondays, Tuesday, what I do on Tuesdays, all of that. So that it'll be there for those of you that are interested in that. Um, it's something I've tweaked over the years many times as you go through different seasons in life. Your different cleaning needs change as far as how often you need to do laundry or, you know, we've moved to different houses. So sometimes the routine will change based on how many bathrooms we have or what I have going on that day. I don't know. So it's something I've tweaked over the years, but right now this, what I'm putting down below is what's working for me. I love planning out my cleaning. It's just an easy way for me to get it done. Um... I always know that, you know, Mondays are days that I'm going to wash the bedding and clean the kitchen, vacuum and mop downstairs, Wednesdays are bathroom days, just things like that. So I will put that down below, put each day and then what I do on each day for those of you that are interested. I wanted to say that before I forget because I was going to do it last vlog and I totally forgot. <laughs> so it'll be down there for you guys. And I'm gonna go get some work done and have some breakfast. I just got done taking photos of these and got them edited so now I can get them added to the pattern up on Ravelry as a draft and ready to go for tomorrow. This is the rainbow connection pattern and I've started working on a new design. 
I have the first sock done. Let me show you. This is the first sock. This will be the after the storm pattern. Not sure on a release date for this one yet. I've got to finish up the second sock. Get testers and all that. So yeah, that's what I'm working on this morning. I have about 30 minutes till I have to wake the boys up. So I'm going to see if I can get this cuff done. I am two rows away from being done with this. So I'm going to put it away for now and go get the boys up and I'll finish it in just a bit. I've been watching Sandy's latest vlog by the lakeside and finishing my cup of coffee. Now I'm going to go get the boys up, make more coffee, and get schoolwork started. I thought I would check in really quick. So schoolwork went really well this morning. The boys got all of their stuff done. I got all of my computer work done that I needed to while they did their schoolwork. It went really well. So sure just some days will be harder than others, but today was a good day. So what else? We've had lunch. I've got some of my cleaning done. I have bread going in a bread machine. Now I'm gonna make some no-bake cookies. I will put the recipe below for the no-bake cookies. I'm halving the recipe today, but I'll put the recipe for the full amount that it calls for. But I'm just halving it because Eric and I are the only ones that like them, and I don't wanna eat that many cookies. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm probably gonna go sit out back if the sun is not on the back porch yet and go sit in the shade and get a little bit of knitting done on the new design that I showed you guys this morning.
cookies are done. These are probably my favorite cookie of all time. There's enough for one more in here, but you know what? I'm gonna eat it before it, cause they're, you cook them in the pan and then they harden up. But my favorite thing to do is when they're still warm like this in the pan, whatever would have been the last cookie, I just eat it like this while it's warm. They're definitely not good for you. Lots of sugar, but they're delicious. So I've just sat down to edit and upload a video that I just got recorded for um, here on the YouTube channel doing the March stats. I know it's the last day of March still, but nothing was going to change between now and tomorrow. <laughs> so I went ahead and recorded the March stats for what I'm doing with the Stash Busters Cal. So that should be up sometime here shortly. I'm going to go ahead and get that started uploading so that I can get it up today. And then I'm just going to go sit out front and knit, I think. I think Wyatt's out there. What do you say he's doing? Playing baseball? Throwing the baseball around? I'm going to go watch him and knit a little bit before it's time to start dinner. Hey guys, this is the crazy basketball boy and today we're doing a vlog or a day in the life vlog. So as you can see, I'm here with the crazy sock lady. I have way more subscribers than her <laughs> and um, um, right now I'm just sitting on the porch, my shoes, um, and we're, we're talking we're having a very deep conversation. So I thought I would check in one more time and just sit down to have a cookie. We've had dinner, I've had my shower, I'm in my PJs. One of our neighbors sound like they're having a party. I don't know, they got their music really loud. <laughs> we are officially, as of 5 p.m. tonight, under a stay at home order from the governor. We are allowed outside for essentials, exercise, that's supposed to be it. But we're kind of settling in for the evening, so I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I told you guys bye. I will probably record just a little bit of what I'm working on this evening. I'm not sure what I'm gonna grab to knit yet, but I wanted to make sure that I ended the vlog properly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try to do a couple of these next week, as long as I'm able. So I will chat with you guys again soon. Happy knitting, bye.